Our last but not least laureate is R.H. Thompson. An intuitive and versatile artist, R.H. Thompson is acclaimed for his ability to bring Canada's stories and characters to life. As a stage, film, and television actor, he has played such diverse roles as Glenn Gould, Frederick Banting, Hamlet, and Cyrano, and he has directed at theaters nationwide. In fact, he has acted in or directed over 70 productions at theaters across the country and appeared in dozens of films and television programs. Mr. Thompson is known for his dedication to his country and his profound belief in, in the importance of arts and culture. He chaired the Artists' Leadership Council of the International Network for Cultural Diversity and helped create Theatre Museum Canada's Legend Library, an interview series with Canadian theatre artists that will preserve our theatrical heritage for future generations. Most recently, Mr. Thompson spearheaded the commemorative projects Vigil 1914-1918, Vigil, and The World Remembers, Le Monde Se Souvient. He definitely is a passionate advocate for Canadian culture. Your Excellencies, R.H. Thompson. Your Excellency, my family, fellow artists, Mesdames and Messieurs, if we shadows have offended, think but this, and all is mended. Those are the words of Robin Goodfellow, known as Puck, who speaks at the end of Midsummer's Dream. I've always wanted to play Robin Goodfellow. I have never been cast as Robin Goodfellow. So tonight, I'm going to give you the... If we shadows have offended, so we are the artists. And Robin says, we're the shadows. We bring you the visions. And as a performer, and Diana will certainly know, and Sarah maybe a bit more, as the performers, our, our creativity and our visions disappear every night. When it's finished and we bow and the lights come up, the visions disappear, like through your fingers. And they live only on in the winds of the memories of the audiences. But we, the artists, also, we leave marks. We may disappear, but we leave behind marks. Jean-Marc, Adam, and Walter have left, will leave a series of zeros and ones. And these zeros and ones will be reconstructed over and over again into flickering shadows and light that tell stories and peoples. And Walters will be re reconstructed into sounds that please the soul and the ear. The marks have been left since the very beginning while the artists disappear. There are hand marks in the Chauvet Caves from 32,000 years ago, where the painters painted extraordinary paintings 32,000 years ago. Those artists have disappeared. Their bones are but dust. But they left a hand mark on the wall. Glenn Gould, whose piano is in the other room, he left his marks. Some of Glenn Gould's marks go the other direction. They're on a round platter, metal, covered with gold. And on that platter, there are a number of pieces of music, one of which is Prelude and Fugue in C by Glenn Gould, which in 1977 left the planet on a voyage or two. And this series of music these pieces about who we are, the marks of this artist, have now traveled with Voyager for more than 37 years. And Voyager now, with the arts, the marks of the artist, is now in what they call the helio sheath, which is the edge of the solar wind. It has left our, galaxy, it has left our solar system past the sun, and it's on the very edge of the helio sheath, which is where the the solar winds from our sun 
finally are beaten and they stop at the edge of the interstellar winds. And we and our earth and our entire existence have always lived in the sheath of the solar winds. And here the marks of an artist called Glenn Gould and other artists are about to leave for the first time since the beginning of the universe and enter the interstellar winds. And those marks will go on. And the two 32,000 years ago almost matches the time since the paintings came. It would take 32 to 36,000 years for Glenn Gould's marks to reach the next possible solar system and be seen by other people. But the bones disappear. Gould's bones disappear, but the marks live on. We, performers, Diana, myself, Sarah, though Sarah leaves some zeros and ones as well, <laughs> we leave almost nothing because it slips away at the end of the evening. And we performers, we bow at the end when the lights come up. And we always ask your indulgence with the bow. So I ask your indulgence. If we shadows have offended, think but this, and all is mended, that you have but slumbered here, while well, these visions did appear. And our weak and idle theme no more yielding than a dream. Gentles do not reprehend. If you pardon, we will mend. And as I am an honest puck, and if I have unearned luck, so to escape the serpent's tongue, we will make amends ere long, else the puck, a liar, call. So, good night, until you all give me your hands if you be friends, and Robin shall restore amends. <laughs>